What's up everyone, my name is Josh and this is Josh Unboxed and welcome back to another video. And today is a, a much, I guess, a long awaited pickups video. Um, it's been a while, I think the last time I did it, like I said in my other video, it's been about a, a month, maybe more than a month since I last done a video. The last one was my last weekly pickups video. Uh, seeing that it's been more than a month, I guess you can call this my monthly um, pickups video. I got a lot of stuff, you know, a lot of low grade cards, raw cards. Um, you know, some of these might be junk to some people, but you know, I love them. A lot of these things I've, I bought to add into my collection, uh, just as a collector, you know, buying the card, not the grade so much. Also, you know, in a, way, in a sense to put myself in a position for a long term and some, some raw cards that I felt had some good value in terms of sending them off to get graded. Hopefully those cards are worth something after, <laughs> after getting graded that I feel, you know, they have a good shot of getting high grades. You know, trying to minimize risk as much as possible. You know, I'm not really sending a lot of cards to get graded, at least not anymore. So um, it is a lot of cards. I don't want to bore you guys by having you sit through like a 20 minute video, but it might be. Um, but I'm gonna try to go through as quickly as possible. Uh, this is a stack of Michael Jordan graded cards, low grade PSA 8s and a PSA 7. I've been focusing on trying to build a Michael Jordan Fleer collection from the 90s. So here's a about 90 Fleer, Michael Jordan and a PSA 8. And I've been focusing on PSA 8s. If I can get a nine and a good deal, I would get it. Uh, this is a 91 Fleer Jordan and a PSA 8. 93 Fleer Jordan and the PSA 8. 93 Fleer Michael Jordan NBA Superstars insert and a PSA 8. Here's an Ultra, 98 Ultra. Really love this card, um, you know, because it's Jordan's last game as a bull in Madison Square Garden and he's wearing the Jordan 1s. I think the photography in this card is, is beautiful. And we got a 95 Skybox Premium Electrified subset uh, and a PSA 7. Now, these cards, I'll tell you right now, I didn't pay more than $25 for each. Aside from the NBA Superstars card, I think that one I might have paid close to 30 something. But I feel that, you know, just buying Jordan cards to add to my collection um, at an affordable price is not that bad of a deal. Um, this next stack is a bunch of Kobe Bryant rookie cards. Now talking about my current position in terms of long-term um, long planning especially when it comes to Kobe Bryant rookie cards. So I've been getting a lot of Kobe Bryant rookie cards, low grade, obviously, uh, for decent prices. Uh, we got a PSA 8 Collector's Choice, PSA 7 Collector's Choice, PSA 7 Finest rookie card. There's a PSA 6 Kobe Bryant Fleer rookie card. PSA 8 Kobe Bryant rookie card. We got a 96 EX2000, PSA 5, Kobe. 96 Finest Gold, PSA 7. Now this is without the coating. Got a 96 Skybox Premium. 96 Stadium Club, PSA 7. SP, PSA 7. Skybox Z-Force, PSA 7. And an Upper Deck and a PSA 8. Now, majority of these cards, especially the ones that are PSA 7s, aside from the finest, uh, both finest cards, I got for around $50. Some of them even gotten less for that. I got some of them for like 30 bucks. Uh, so while I do think there's good value to be had in some of these Kobe Bryant rookie cards, especially in low grade, some people may not agree just because of the fact that they're such low grades. Like, why would you buy a PSA 6? Uh, Kobe Bryant rookie card. You know, why would you buy a PSA 7 Kobe Bryant rookie card? Because I'm looking at it for long term. Um, and plus, I love Kobe. <laughs> I've been, I, you know, coming from LA, he's one guy that I love watching. I love watching. Here's another stack of random PSA graded cards. You know, I apologize because I don't fully remember all the prices that I paid. So I'll try to remember. Got an Ichiro 2001 Bowman Draft Picks in a PSA 8. 2001 Tops Ichiro in a PSA 8. Tops Duncan Rookie Card PSA 8. You can see a theme here with the lower graded cards. Uh, 95 Select Certified Mirror Gold Griffey in a PSA 8. Metal Universe Magnetic Field Derek Jeter Insert in a PSA 8. Has some nice shine to it right there. 
95 Skybox Premium Meltdown Shaquille O'Neal in the PSA 6. Very condition sensitive card. The all foil background actually makes it prone to chipping. Um, the corners generally in these cards are pretty hard and also uh, the borders or the edges on this card, especially here in the back, make it as a tough grade. Got a 1987 question of sport Mike Tyson uh, in the PSA 6. I thought, th I thought these are cool. Um, this comes from a board game out there in the UK called The Question of Sport. Um, and these were the cards that were inserted into those uh, into those um, board games. Uh, it's just cool to have a Mike Tyson card. So, 97 Skybox Z-Force Super Boss, Kobe Bryant in a PSA 8. I think this one I paid quite a bit. I think I paid like 250 for this. I don't remember. And then a 97 um, Finest Kobe Bryant in a PSA 7 with the coding. This isn't worth much, but you know, being a Kobe collector, it's just nice to have. Next up are my raw cards. Um, and this is, will be the final bit of it. Uh, here's some cards that I do plan on submitting to get graded. I have a stack here. Um, this is uh, Topps uh, 2020 Shohei Otani Gold. I think I showed one of these in my previous videos. I got another one here. Here's a 2020 Topps variation, Shohei Otani. Bowman Platinum Shohei Otani. Uh, Topps Flagship Shohei Otani. This is the one I always look for, the number 700 one. Try not to get the Topps update. Um, now this one, I don't think it's gonna grade all too well, but if I'm submitting these when bulk submission opens up, I care less how long it takes and what grade it gets. Just it's, it's just cool to have a Shohei Otani card. Got another Topps Gold. I think I have two of them in here. Got another two of them. I can find another one. Yes, there it is. Got another two Shohei Otani um, Topps Gold cards. Got a Tatis Beam Team from Stadium Club. These come at one per case. So I figured, you know, tough odds to pull, um, you know, low, uh, low pack rate, low odds. You know, I thought it'd be pretty cool to get this card. I got the black version here as well. These ones are numbered out of 99. Then I got a Shohei Otani Red Beam Team. Now these ones come out of one out of 10 cases. So much tougher pull. I figured that was cool. Got a Topps Variation, uh, Fernando Tatis. 2021 tops. This one's a nice one. Uh, this is the 2020 finest flashback gold refractor of Clayton Kershaw. Love that shine. I got this for like 35 bucks. Believe it or not. Uh, another one of these 97 Metal Universe Championship um, All Millennium Team, Kobe Bryant. This one looks really good. The one I have right now is a PSA 7. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if this gets an 8. Um, Hoping to get to nine, but nice one to add to the Kobe collection. This is a uh, Tops and Fuego Shaquille O'Neal. I think this comes from '95 Tops. I don't remember. But this is pretty cool. Nice looking card. I think the reason why I'm getting this great is to add to my Shaq collection, as well as the fact that it looks like a clean card. Got this uh, Planet Metal Paint Manning insert. Metal Universe. I think this is a 97 or not 99 Metal Universe. Definitely not his rookie year. His rookie year is 98. So pretty cool card there. And then I got this um, Price Footballers uh, Messi Silver insert from Finest. Top's Finest. So this one's a little off, is off center left to right in the back. Um, but the front looks good. Might, might get a 9 or an 8, but you know, it's a card that I plan on just holding long term. Now, here are the rest of the raw cards. Now, these ones I just bought just to buy. Um, you know, probably didn't really cost much. Some of them do cost a little more, which are the ones here on the bottom. Um, but you know, these are cards that I just wanted to to add. And this is a Liv Morgan uh, Topps rookie card, uh, bronze version. Got a Brett the Hitman Hart 1987 Topps uh, rookie card. Not that great of condition, but I got it for really cheap. Got these two Kobe's in a lot. We got the 19, I think this is 98 Team Skybox, Michael Jordan, uh, Michael Jordan, sorry, uh, Team Skybox, Kobe Bryant. I do have one of these in a, I think it was SGC9. 
Uh, 90, this is 99, Metal Universe, Kobe Bryant. This is 99, 98, 99, okay. Got this Tops Cornerstone insert of Kobe. Kobe Black Diamond. Uh, this is the, the double diamond. A little edge chipping on the top there. Numbered out of 3,000. 95 Upper Deck Michael Jordan base card. Nothing special about that. Just thought it was cool. Uh, got a Kawhi Leonard Select Blue. I forgot what year is this. What year is this? 2017. Numbered out of 299. Got that for a very good deal. Got a Scoring Kings Patrick Ewing to go with my Scoring Kings Shaquille O'Neal. I do plan on one day trying to complete this set um, in a graded form. So, but I have two raw cards right now: the Patrick Ewing as well as Shaquille O'Neal. Got these three pool hoses. Uh, for a low price, uh, just full host refactors. Not really expensive. I think I got it for like five bucks total. Um, these three cards I got along with the with the Otani at a card show. Um, I got the Russell Wilson orange refractor or orange hollow. Got a Tim Duncan rookie sensations insert, and then I got a '89 tops Griffey rookie card. Uh, I think I paid only I paid thirty dollars total for the four cards. The Otani was fifteen dollars at the time. And you know, they, I got this one. For, I got this one for free. So I know those, those cards are not really worth much, but those are just cool cards to own. Got the foil um, Fernando Tatis. This one I got in the lot with the sliding variation. So got another um, couple of Otani's. This is the pink refractor and the sepia refractor. If you can get these cards for cheap, maybe flip them for like a few bucks more. Not bad. Now these two cards are the best cards or the best raw cards that I ended up getting. I got a um, Kobe Bryant Soul of the Game insert and a Peyton Manning Topps uh, rookie card. So very happy with this. I don't remember if I ever showed this one. I may have showed this one already in a different pickups video. This is what happens when you pick up too much and it's been a while since you've done a video. But um, pretty awesome card here. I do plan on getting this card graded to add to the PC. Uh, it looks clean, but I, I wouldn't be surprised if it ended up getting a seven. I thought I had a clean Jordan once uh, clean enough to get a nine, but it came back as a seven. So I, we'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. A lot of cards. Um, I'll, I promise not to have it last this long anymore. I promise not to have this kind of lapse uh, from filming uh, any of my pickups. But I, I went through it really quick just because I don't want to have you guys have to sit through like 20, 25 minutes. We kept it like around 13 minutes or so. So. Uh, I really do thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed, if you guys found some value, you know, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. If you haven't yet, please consider subscribing. And with that being said, my name is Josh, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.